Hi everyone, welcome to Kiki and Kibbits. It's Mary, and I'm coming to you with today's edition of Love After Lockup, Life After Lockup, Word on the Street. So let's go. So last night's episode was emotional to say the least. That scene between Lindsay and Deontay, who child? But let me tell you what happened afterwards on the gram and on the interwebs, whoosh child. So if you guys do not want to have the rest of the season, which we have two weeks left, spoiled for you, either cover your ears now or fast forward until you see me give you two thumbs up, okay? When I give the two thumbs up, then the spoiler is over. So starting now, if you don't want this season to be spoiled, fast forward or cover your ears. I warned you. On my screen right now are pictures of Deontay's current girlfriend. I blocked out her name to protect her privacy because she is expecting his child. So Deontay's girl did not appreciate how he was being portrayed on the episode last night. So as, as it's done, she went to the gram to express her, express her frustrations and posted these pictures. As you can see from her caption, she was not happy. So as she said, enough is enough. And she posted these pictures to prove that Deontay is not clingy and that he is hers. So here are some more pictures that she posted. And apparently a little birdie here and a little birdie there told me that it all started with these posts that Lindsay put on her story before the episode, Team Deontay or Team Blaine. Apparently, Deontay's girl didn't appreciate because Deontay is not Lindsay's anymore to claim. So she felt like Lindsay was overstepping her boundaries by posting these pictures and kind of like asking the fans, Team Deontay or Team Blaine. So this all was frustration and beef stemming from last week when the episode aired. Deontay's girl took to the gram and posted this picture. What is this picture, you may ask? Well, apparently, a few months ago, some members of the cast, including Deontay and Lindsay, took a trip out to L.A. to do some publicity and, you know, last minute filming things for, you know, the season. And they all went hanging out. And apparently this is a picture of Lindsay kissing some guy. So um, Deontay's girl posted this to the gram. And this is where all this beef is starting and it's all like spiraling out of control. A little birdie told me that um, apparently Lindsay was trying to get away from this guy all night. I was not there. I do not know what was true, what is not true. I have a little birdie on this side. I have a little birdie on this side. I have a little birdie over here, little birdies over here. So I'm just reporting to you guys what little birdies are telling me. So I posted these pictures that the auntie's girl posted to the gram right before I went to bed last night. And I woke up this morning to these comments and I was like, who child? Blaine commented on my post. I love how she slid in my DMs too. And I was like, who child? Who's sliding in your DMs? Apparently Deontay's girl was sliding in his DMs. I was like, interesting. Then 
there is this poach, po post post from Rewatch Reality. I like this account, guys. If you guys don't follow her, you should. She has a lot of tea as well. So apparently when I went to bed last night, because, you know, I do have to sleep, there was lots of drama going on while I was sleeping. So Blaine made the same comment on Rewatch re Reality's post because she posted the same pictures that I did because she's a great content creator. So he made the same comment. I love how she slides in my DMs too. So basically what Belaine is referring to, because I got a message from Deontay's girlfriend clarifying what message she sent to Blaine, that picture of Lindsay kissing the guy, she sent it to Blaine because Blaine and Lindsay are together. And at the time when they were all in LA, Blaine and Lindsay were a couple, and she thought that Blaine should know that Lindsay was kissing a guy at the time. You know, they were doing this um, publicity thing. I believe it was back in April, May, not really sure. Don't quote me on that. So then another great account, Uncensored 90 Day. You guys should, should go follow them as well if you don't already. Caught this screenshot from Deontay's story that was gone this morning when I woke up. And um, apparently Deontay lashes out at Lindsay. So there was a bunch of messy drama going on while I was passed the hell out. So last week when Deontay's girl posted that picture of Lindsay kissing kissing the guy in the bar, whatever the case may be. I was not there. I don't know what happened. Lindsay was posting this to her stories. Deontay this week, hanging out with his BFF Rachel and posted this to his story, which yes, yes. Paging Matt Sharp. We want to see a spinoff with Mama Deontay. Rachel would be nice, but a spinoff with Mama Deontay and Derek. That's who we want to see. And Lindsay, Lindsay, my girl, she, you know, I, I don't know if you guys remember a few weeks ago, I covered this. You know, she graduated with a, um, a um, English major in college like me. She was active on Twitter last night. And this tweet from her, Crack me the fuck up. And it was on point. And if you guys don't know, I am now a staff writer for Starcasm.net. So if you want to know all the dirty details on Blaine and Lindsay and Deontay, check out my article on Starcasm.net. So there we go, guys. That's all the low down dirty Messy, messy details on Deontay, Lindsay, his girl, Blaine. And all I have to say is, you know, I like everyone involved. And why can't we all just get along, guys? Just put the messiness aside and just all get along, please. Mary's asking, please, everyone just get along. Thank you. Okay, the spoilers are over. So, moving on to more who child news. Chan is back, guys. Chan is back, and he says a lot has happened this summer, and I think I know what it is. He fucking married Lacey. Can you believe this shit? I'm pretty sure those are wedding rings. Some people are saying that their engagement rings. I'm pretty sure he fucking married her, guys. He fucking married her. <sighs> but a little birdie says, at least we know that the children are around Chan and not some random guy, even though Chan and Lacey, you know, uh, 
are under the influence more than they aren't, put it that way. And the children are with their um, grandfather more than they are with their mother. But if a man is going to be around them, you know, uh, a, a majority of the time, at least it's Chan and not some uh, random dude. And uh, by the way, guys, I have a little secret. You know how Lacey has been posting that she moved to California, she sold the house, she moved to California, clean slate, blah, blah, blah. She hasn't moved to California. She's still in Virginia. So shh. anyway, moving on. Shane, for his part, did a little reflecting on the gram about his freedom and, you know, how he's taking one step at a time and living his life one day at a time. So moving on, you guys know it wouldn't be word on the street without Lane and um, Shane and Lacey or Mandy and Maurice. So don't you guys find it interesting that Mandy is referring to Maurice as her baby daddy? Because um, unless she's having his baby, um, he's not your baby daddy. So um, Kayla posted to the gram this picture of her and Kevin with I love you, hashtag to toxic six years. But I'm pretty sure she confirmed what I've been saying all along. I live tweeted last night that I'm convinced that he has to be hung to his knees. That is the only redeeming quality this man must have is that he has to be hung to his knees. And look what Kayla herself responded. I am taking that as confirmation. And Tiffany showed off her new man on the gram. So they're coming out to the world. And speaking of this whole Kevin, Tiffany, Kayla, we have to mention Curtis pictured with his dog. And we can't talk about Curtis's scenes without talking about problems with the charger to his ankle monitor. He's always seeming to have problems with that damn charger. Curtis, get it together. Paging my boy Curtis, you need to get the shit together with the charger to your ankle monitor. What the fuck, dude? Now, this I want to put under things that make you go, ah, what interesting. So we have Quaylon who changed his um, Instagram handle to cool as December 60. And I just find it interesting that Chevelle liked both of these pictures. I mean, there's nothing special about these pictures. I just find it interesting that he changed his um, Instagram name and that Chevelle liked both of them. So something that makes me go mm, interesting. And we have... Brittany with her new workout routine at Planet Fitness, day number two. And um, sending healing vibes to Marcelino. He was in the hospital. Don't know what, what was wrong, but shout out to the VA hospital for taking care of him. And Marcelino, we hope you're feeling better. And now this, this gave me the feels. You remember Lizzie, you guys? So Lizzie has been out of prison for four years and she just went back to the same prison that she was in to visit a friend. I don't know why this post gave me the feels, but it did. Like the good feels, the fuzzy feels. We have the Treadwell ladies representing style and fashion. The new season, the new season of love during lockup. Starts October 21st. New blood, except for my girl Ty, pictured on the right. Queen Ty. We all know I love my girl Ty, but we got new blood and we have a deaf mute chick, which is very interesting and personal to me. 
cannot wait. Cannot wait, guys. So please, if you guys are so inclined, check out my articles on starcasm.net. I have tea on Tiffany and Kayla and tea on um, Puppies Man uh, Merrick, his wife Heather, and the whole divorce situation. So if you guys haven't read my articles on starcasm.net, please do. And finally, I wanted to end this word on the street with this picture of Haley from the first season of Love During Lockup. Remember her, you know, with the Sia hair? Dalton, that face is my mood after dealing with all this drama. So please, why can't we all just get along? Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please subscribe if you don't already. Please give me a like. Share with a friend. It would make me so happy. And if you um, enjoy all my hard work and are so inclined, please hit that thanks button right there and send me a super sticker. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to watch our Life After Lockup recaps on Sunday nights at 9 p.m. East Coast time, 6 p.m. West Coast time. Thank you so much. Bye.